Hello and welcome to the Toon Boom Harmony and Storyboard Pro installation tutorial. On Monday, every Magic student will receive an email that will give them specific instructions on what softwares they need to install for their computer. For those who need Toon Boom, here's how you go about it. First, you need to download the software from the link that we're going to provide you. It's important when you're in doubt, unless your instructor gives you specific reasons, you need to install the latest version on your computer because most applications are not backwards compatible. So we're just going to double click on the executable. We're going to pick English and we're going to just let it install. So now we have the install shield wizard that pop up that showed up. We're going to hit next. We're going to say I accept to the license agreement. And this is important. It's you need to know where it's going to install the software. For most of you, it'll be the C drive. If you have an SSD drive or somewhere else that you like to install it, this is where you're going to tell it to change it. I have no reason to change it, so I'm just going to hit next. Please choose complete and just let it install. Now that it's completed, you're going to see three options here. If this is your first time installing Toon Boom from at your house, I would suggest you install QuickTime 7 and install the Adobe Reader. If you already have a Creative Cloud account and you already have Adobe installed, you don't need this. From here, we're just going to hit Finish. So once you've installed Harmony, let's activate the license. I've already input the license, so the prompt is not showing up. But I can do a reenactment for you. The first time you open it, you're going to see something like this. You do not need to fill out the top we already have given you a license so what you'll do is you're gonna take the license that's gonna be provided to you and you're simply going to put it right here you're gonna say internet activation that's the fastest way if you have a computer that is not connected to the internet you can use an alternate activation but please know that any way that you install it other than internet activation is going to take longer. We're going to use a single user and you're simply going to copy and paste the code that we're providing you. You'll hit activate and you'll be ready to go. And you'll know it's successful when you open up Harmony 17 Premium and you will no longer get a license prompt just like mine. From here you're ready to continue your work as you've always done. You can create scenes and whatnot or open your previous projects. And that is how you install Harmony 17 Premium.